everyone i want to show you a quick tips that you can use to navigate whenever you are working on microsoft excel if you need to move around your worksheet whether you want to go to the end of the row or you want to go to the end of the that you have on the worksheet these tips is going to help you to be able to do that as fast as possible now look at this data set for example this data set is a lot and a lot of data in fact if you are going to scroll down for example if you are going to highlight Assuming that you are doing a calculation here and you need to highlight this entire stop time, maybe from B2, the cell that is currently selected, to the end, you know, this is the usual method that we use. You're going to do this and you're going to do this. If you have a lot of data set, that is a lot and a lot of time is going to take for you to get to the end of the data. Imagine, we have not even reached anywhere within the journey we are going to because if you look at this data you can see the, the scrolling bar here this point it means that we still have a long distance to cover what is the way out how can i quickly highlight the entire you know cells that contain the value i want to highlight the range okay i cannot continue to scroll like this this is going to waste my time what do i do what to do is this remember we have four navigation keys on the keyboard among other these keys you have them on your computer if you don't have any of this key i'm talking about this group is it that it's like this on your keyboard or is this type of arrow so any one of them i don't really care what happened is that this one allow you to navigate up why this you used to navigate down you navigate to the right and then you use this to navigate to the left why with the same thing with this so check your keyboard currently now i believe you have this four keys on your keyboard okay they are called arrow key so the actual name is they are part of the keyboard navigation keys i did a training about functions of the keys on the keyboard the one that you have been ignoring that can make you to work faster check the description section of this video you are going to see a link to that so you understand more about the keyboard keys so what do you need to do with this key simple if you are going to go from a2 or B2 from the top of the Excel sheet down to where there is data down. All you need to do is to use your control key. You have that as well on your keyboard CT, R, L key, then plus the arrow down key. That's all you need. Let's get back to the Excel and see how it works. So here we have. So we want to know from here to the end, we want to highlight from this B2, for example, to the last point. Of the data sets on this sheet so i'm going to press the control key that's ctrl on my key then plus arrow down okay so that is how to get down there you can see so the end of this data right now is at twenty thousand four zero one. imagine if i have to scroll one by one to get to the end of the sheet additionally that key can also be used if you need to go up use the press the control key down on your keyboard and they use the arrow up this time around then you jump to the top of the page that is the first cell okay in your worksheet that is how to navigate when you have the data so if i need to highlight for example now i can just press the control key and then i drew my jump down i know okay this is where the data actually end so i can actually select my data i press the control and shift if it is to select we are the last one now. Let's go to the top of the page. This is the top of the page. If I want to select from this point, I want to select it to the last say That's 20,401 where we have the data. I'm going to press the shift key. Remember, you use the shift key and the arrow key, the arrow down to select down. If you are selected, shift and arrow. But if you are going to jump to the end, you use the control and the arrow. I'd like you to understand the difference between the two. Don't miss them up. Shift key and the arrow. That's to select one by one like this. If I just want to jump down, I want to go to the last cell that contain data on this Excel sheet. I'm going to use control key. In that case, when I'm using control and the arrow down, that is not going to select. That is just to know the end, what is the last cell in the range. That's what we use that for. But if you want to select at the same time, jump down, then you are going to use the three key together. The shift key, the control key, and the arrow down. Here we go. So you see now, all this data has been selected from the top to the bottom. I'd like you to try it. Let's try it again because we might want to just have uh, 
maybe a record here you want to do a calculation here you want to do equals to whatever you want to do and you need to select the entire data set that is going to be difficult to be scrolling down let's go back to the top of the page control key and then the arrow up this time around control and the arrow up that take us up we come over here to b2 and then i will use the shift key and the arrow down just to select the first two that is fine then i press the shift key the control key and then i use my second finger you know the second hand to press the arrow down so the three key together shift control and arrow down we are light from the first cell to the end of the cell where you have a data set so this is for when you have a data set what about if you want to know what's the last row in this excel sheet excel is a very big uh you know it it, it contains a lot of cells now and then we have a lot of rows this is just twenty thousand. what's the last row you want to check the last row in your excel worksheet very simple all you need to do go to the top put your cursor as well okay Put it at the first set that you have at the top. Okay, yes, we are on R1. I want to go to the last row of the worksheet. Remember, there are two things I'm trying to differentiate here. The last data that you have on the sheet is different from the last row, the empty row. So they, these are two different things. If you want to see the last data, just click on where there is data and then use the control key and the arrow that that will take you to the last row that contains the data. But I want to see the entire worksheet. What is the last row in the worksheet? My data is just a small portion of the worksheet. So this time around that I want to see the entire rows in the worksheet. I'm going to use an empty cell for that. So you're going to click on empty cell where there is no data. And then you press the control key again and then the arrow down. Now you can see this is 1,048,576 rows. This is the amount of rows that you have in a single Excel worksheet. You want to go back to the row R1 because we are on row 1,048,576 right now. You need to go back to the row R1. What do you need to do? You press the control key, arrow up. There we go. We are now on R1. This is navigating around the empty cell. But if it is a cell that contains data, for example, you want to sum every, you know, data that you have in the P column, then what do you do? You're going to just go over again and do equal sign, then maybe sum. And then ordinarily what you do is to be dragging down. If you don't know the first and the last one, if you know the first and the last like we have known, you can just go ahead and then put, you know, maybe P2, all right, column. Uh, the last one is P20,000, 401 or, or so, but I'm not sure. So in that case, I can capture a wrong cell along. So what do I do? You can just go ahead and put, uh, okay, after you put this on, click on the first cell, okay? Ordinarily, you are going to try to drag down like this, okay? That's how to go. But it's going to take you a long time to go like this before you get to the last one. So you can just go ahead and press the shift, control, and then the arrow down. That is going to highlight the entire cell for you. The next thing now is to come over. You can see it over here. In the formula bar so you don't need to scroll up just put the bracket okay and then you hit enter then you have your final answer at the top over here so that's how to navigate around your excel sheet whether the excel sheet contains the content or it is an empty sheet and you just want to know the last row and we have an assignment for you and i would like you to drop that in the comment section what happens if i need to navigate towards the column because everything i've done for you in this training is to navigate down the rows what happens if i need to go to the end of the column can you try that or you tell me how you go about that i'm going to drop this excel sheet okay as an attachment in the description section so you can use it to practice okay use it to practice and then try to move towards the left and right remember you are going to use the other arrow that we didn't use in this class that is the arrow right to go towards the right arrow left to go towards the left with your control key okay your control key to move if you are going to highlight then you need to have the shift plus control then the arrow key i hope that is clear if you have any doubt or face any challenge about that i like to get feedback from you in the comment section at the same time like this video okay share it as well and if you have not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for 
you have a lot more to learn. So go ahead and click the subscription button now. See you in the next lesson. Bye for now.